Welcome to another All Aboard Layout Update. First off in this video, you might notice a change in the video quality. And that's because I'm using, I'm using my uh, Canon T3i for this video. I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot at doing a layout update. Normally I use this Samsung camera here. But I decided I'd go ahead and give this a try. Unfortunately, with this video, with using this camera as a video camera, it doesn't have autofocus, so I do have to manually focus it, but I'll go ahead and give it a try and see how this turns out. So, I haven't done a ton to the layout here. I've done some stuff here and there. A lot of it's been track work and making sure all that's solid and working well before I move on. I don't want to get any problems that I have with that done now before before I get too far and I have to rip stuff out like I did last layout. Something I really want to avoid, so I'm going to do as so much as I can to avoid that. But starting here at the yard, I've I've installed some more tracks. Got that in, got some stuff here, extended some of them. So the yard's starting to look pretty good. Almost done with the track. I am going to have to order maybe five or six more pieces of flex track and after that I will be done with laying flex track and I can start on making sure everything runs good finishing up the wiring for the track and then I can move on to everything else over here at the engine area one thing I have gotten done is I assembled this pike stuff building kit I had. Finally got around to doing that. I think I still have some work to do on it, but for the most part it's done. I'm gonna have to probably get a better foundation for it because the wood's not perfectly level all around. So there's some gaps here and there. I might get around to weathering it at some point, but I'm pretty happy with it. Still got a little bit to do to clean it up and make it look make it look good, but for the most part it looks looks pretty good here and I think it makes a nice addition to the area here. One thing I am thinking about doing is, back in the corner here, I might making this little area here like a maintenance of way area that the uh, the railroads can keep all their maintenance of way equipment stored there. So I think that'd be a little cool scene over there with that all that stuff over there. So we'll see about that, and hopefully I can uh, make that work and make it look nice. One thing that I also need to do is I need to get a new decoder for my SW1500 here. When I got this SD40 from the hobby shop when they were closing, I took the decoder out of that. But what I did not do is get a decoder for that. So I haven't had a chance to order one in because now I have to order everything unfortunately. So once I get that I'll be able to get that running. have another, another yard unit I can use. That'll be pretty nice to have a couple yard units, some, some stuff I can use for just on like local trains or something like that. It'll be give me a nice variation of power that I can use on the layout. Hopefully I can get that in sometime soon when I order the switch machines and some data track stuff to run my UT4 wirelessly. I'm over here at my industrial area now. I've gotten a little bit of work done on the track and the cork here. Most of what I done, what I got done is right here. So I'm going to have this transition from, there's going to be a switch here. And it's going to switch off to the two tracks that are going to go about, about like that. And what I'm doing is I've gotten a transition here so that the cork will slope down onto the plywood there. So that'll make it a little more interesting there. It'll add some variation to the scene and hopefully make it look a little more interesting with the variation in the track levels and add some interest to the scene. I have pretty much finished here the track work for my grain elevator. So I got all this done. This is where the grain elevator is going to be going right here. And I got this track running around. Get the camera bag out of here. So, 
I still gotta get the switch machines in. Um, I'll order those at some point. But I think this area is looking looking pretty good here. And I'm I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I think it looks looks pretty good with the grain car sitting here. Hopefully at some point I'll get some more of those in. I can get and so I can get a good looking grain train running. But I think overall I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. The track's looking good. The for the most part, the only problems I've had are this thing here. I keep having problems with it. Um I can I can get them fixed and then I get more problems. It's mainly with the track moving around a little bit. So hopefully I can get get that worked out good. If I don't have any more problems with it. But overall everything's looking pretty good here. Been using this as my test train, just got my Jivo and 70 Mac running. With a decent sized train here. Everything's looking pretty good. I have planned on, I have a friend who's getting rid of his HO skill stuff, so I'm gonna buy some, some more train cars off of him. So hopefully, I'll get those someday. He's going to school a couple hours away. So it's gonna be a little hard to get them from him, but at some point I will. And that'll make a nice addition to my rolling stock fleet. Been expanding that quite a bit this year, so I think everything's looking pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the update here. Leave a comment on what you think of me using this camera and what you think of the layout so far. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.